A seroprevalence study will be completed by the Ministry of Health to establish the level of COVID-19 immunity in the population. Minister of Health Terence Dial Singh says the study will determine how the country's tran country trans transitions from a pandemic state to one where the COVID-19 virus is endemic. Kimberly D'Souza tells us more in this report. What a national seroprevalence study will do, being led by the Ministry of Health, will help us determine the levels of antibodies in the population by examining blood samples, taking their serum and looking for the levels of antibodies in the general population. Minister of Health Terence Dial Singh said the study will determine this country's natural immunity levels and assist us to transition to a state of endemicity. It will also help us predict in the future coming months a lot of things like what hospital capacity we need as we move to endemicity, um, what are the possible chances of future surges as immunity wanes, whether it's natural immunity or induced immunity. The project is supported by the University of the West Indies and includes assistance from the Pan American Health Organization, PAHU. Minister Dial Singh said while there is no confirmed start date, there was a broad consensus from cabinet and health officials that this is a step in the right direction. As COVID-19 numbers continue to decrease, Minister Dial Singh announced plans to deactivate some of the country's COVID-19 facilities. He said the Point Fortin Hospital is on target to be fully decommissioned by next Saturday, March 12th. We could start to look at the Arima General Hospital to be decommissioned and also the first step-down facility to be decommissioned will be the Takarigua Racket Center. Minister Dial Singh said there are no confirmed dates when those sites will be deactivated. He confirmed the Coover Hospital and St. James facility will be retained as COVID-19 facilities within the parallel healthcare system. He suggested that the field hospital at Jean Pei Complex may be moved to another regional health authority to manage any possible surge in COVID-19 cases. Kimberly D'Souza, TTT News.